Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Hi, Sue. Hi, Donna Sue. Hi, Luann. Hi, Julie. Happy Friday. Hi, Fondia. Hi, Miss Kathy. Hey, Angel. Helena, how's that, Kaylee girl? Hi, Martin. Hi, Margaret. Hi, Miss Shauna. Um, so, as usual, for some reason, when I am bringing up <gasps> you, uh, when I'm bringing up Facebook on my computer, it does something to my computer and it doesn't like it and it freezes everything. So just give me a minute. I've got to reboot my computer to that is what my overhead camera is on. So I'll just talk to you guys for a minute. Happy Friday. Hola, Ari. Ari, I just have, um, so I just have little pins in them. So. They're just little, like, stainless steel pins, so that's all I put in them is just pins. I will tell you, though, like, with the pigment fix and the, um, the decoupage glue and varnish, you do need to make sure that you take the top off and clean it in hot water every now and again because it's so sticky that it, um, it, like, will clog on you. Hi, Sheila Teigen. Hi, Mercedes. Sorry about that, Mercedes. Hi, Miss Shauna. Hi, Christina. How are you? Hi, Carrie. Hi, Trees. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, every time I can run a bunch of Windows programs, everything. As soon as I open Facebook, it freezes my whole computer. And it's the weirdest thing because it's only Facebook. So now it's rebooting and doing all kinds of crazy stuff because it's it didn't like what, you know, what just happened. So, hi, Lucia. Hi, Cindy. Hi, Lynn. Hi, Holly girl. What wonders creation do you have planned today? So today we are going to do a, um, it's like, a, I always think of these like big trays as like, you know, the tray, you know, when you're seeing the, like the living in the style, living style magazines, they have like, the shell, uh, the tray sitters on like ottomans or whatnot. So I got these came in a two pack from Hobby Lobby, and this one is a no way. Oh, there it is. I was gonna say that is not big enough. Fifteen and three quarters by eleven point eight, so it's almost a sixteen by twelve. So, um, and then the other one is even bigger than this, that it comes, you know, it's seated inside of another one that's even bigger. So we're going to do that. I don't know what we're going to do today because I have like, remember this that I opened the, um, like bounce, <laughs> the dryer sheet. Um, I also pulled out a full few transfers that I have. Um, we have trim that I want to put on it. So. Um, hi, Catherine Kelly. Hi, Wendy. Hi, Kathy. Hi, Helen. Uh, trying to watch you while I'm doing my makeup. Ooh, are you going to go see the ladies tonight? Are they performing tonight? Thank you for sprinkling the chaos. Yeah, it's the weirdest thing because it's the only one that does it. And now my computer is doing a cleanup because, you know, of course, because I'm live. I mean, why wouldn't it? you know, do that. Hi, Connie. How are you? Nice to see you too. I didn't see those at Hobby Lobby. Um, let me see if I can reach the, oh, good. Googly moogly. So look at this one. This is the one it, it's a two pack. So that one came inside. And so this one is Dang, my eyes. This one is almost a 19 by 14. So, and they're really, I mean, I they're really cool. And I just love it, right, because there's so much space to do all kind of stuff with. So, hi, Lisa. How are you? Hi, Miss Linda. Thank you, Christina. So, yes, today is Happy Mail Friday. So, we will definitely get a Happy Mail winner. I just have to say, you guys, you know, before when I started doing Happy Mail, I was really good and I would get that Happy Mail out right away. But 
it's it's a little more challenging these days with all the driving driving and everything else so um if i owe you happy mail i'm so sorry terry do you keep the icing bottles without drying out how do you keep them from drying out um i don't know ari i it's been in this since i got these bottles um and I've never had a problem with it. Why are you finding that it's drying out? I know that the little tops, you know, are open, but I don't find that that's enough air for them to get dried out. So I'm not sure. Hi, Dana. Yeah, it is. Hi, Barbara Ross. Um, hi, Toots. Hi, Tracy. Good evening, Jill. Hi, Elizabeth. I'm sorry, y'all. It's booting right now. It really did not like when I opened that. Um, I am a parent. I get it. How's everyone doing? Any good, any wonderful plans um, for your weekend? Oh, no. Oh, okay. No, just wonder. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hi, Miss Edie. Yeah, I, I'm not sure. Um, you know, I, I haven't had any problems so far and I have, I have everything in them. Anything that is, you know, liquid enough that I knew wouldn't have a problem to come through the top. Um, so this is the Duraclear and Triple Thick, um, mixture, but I have anything that I could possibly put in there. I did. Um, and I, I haven't had any problems. Thanks, Tracy. I stick a pin in mine, but maybe I don't need to. I stick, I have little, little pins in mine. All of them have little pins. I don't know. Oh, I gotcha. Wedding anniversary. Okay, we're getting there. Good coogly moogly. All right, let me enter the studio and I'll get my... Okay. Thank you, Connie. I will get you guys going on the wheel in just a second. And of course, I bopped the camera. So let me fix that before I come in studio because you guys don't need to see my chair, I don't guess. All right, let's do this. Oh. Then I couldn't mute it because another screen popped up in front of it. What is this? Today's going to be one of those days, right? Ay, 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 ay. Sorry. You know, you know me. Just, just, you know, a hot mess over here. All right. So can we see everything okay? Okay. So, oh my gosh. Thank you guys for the stars, Luann, Helena. Let's just hope I don't poke eye doing makeup. Oh, Angel. Please don't poke your eye. Oh, my goodness. Shanna Tegan, thank you so much for the stars. Okay, so anyways, if you guys couldn't tell, um, let me see. So it is um, two and an eighth. So they're really, I mean, they're a good size. Very good size. Thank you, Carolyn. Hello. All right. Now, because that messed that all up. Let me get the wheel on here, and then I'll add your names to it. And then, so look it. I wanted to show you guys. So obviously, we had this, which is like it's Prima's um, rice paper. Um, I it reminds me of a dryer sheet because of you know, I don't know. It's not a a a, a rice paper that you know I'm used to. So. Um, I was thinking about maybe putting that in there because um, I thought that would be super pretty. And then also I have, you know, just regular transfers that have beautiful flowers on them. And then this one is a transfer from CC Restyle that I've had for a really long time. But if you can see, that's what the design is more or less. Um, and then I just had like, you know, individual, well, not individual, but smaller transfers. So this is from Timeless Designs um, that maybe we don't use the whole thing, but we can use like scripts and whatnot. So, oh, thank goodness it didn't get rid of my wheel. Because I was like, good Lord, that's a lot of names to have to put back on there. 
Hi, Sandy Kling. How are you? I use those. They're really nice, beautiful chat. Thank you. Hi, Annette. Thank you. Okay, let me get these couple on here. I'm sorry. It is a... Somebody said Freaky Friday. Yeah, it's 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 going to be one of those days. Did you guys all see that I posted the, the tray? You can actually see... Oh, thank you, Michelle. You can actually see... Um, all of the bling in the actual picture. I know yesterday, even when I was watching the replay to, you know, look at comments and stuff, I it was hard to really see the colors in the tray, but um, the, at least I was happy with, you could at least see it in the pictures. So, all right. So, whoops. All right. Okay. All right. All right. So, whoopsie. Oh, good cuggly muggly. So, I don't know if you guys have a preference. And then, um, thank you guys. And then I was also... I pulled out some trim because, like I said, there's so much real estate that, you know, this is one of my most favorite trims. Um, this is the TR725, and that's going to fit on there just perfectly. Look at that. And then, um, yes, it did, Mercedes. It really did, right? And then, did I miss... Thank you, Ari, for the stars. Goodness gracious, Ari. Thank you. Hi, Sharon. Thank you. And between the tray and the angel, you may be able to retire after the auction. Mary Casey, wouldn't that be fun? That would be amazing, but I'm sure. <laughs> oh, that's wonderful, Anne. Oh, that's such good news. Oh, yay. I can't get my redesign transfers to work. I have no trouble. Really? Um, okay, let's talk about that. Why? What, what, what are you doing? Are you putting down a top coat? Are you not putting down a top coat? Are you putting it on fresh paint? Um, what are you, what do you do? What is your process, whether it's a redesign or a uh, IOD? What's your process, Brenda, as far as when you put your transfer down? Okay, so, and then I also have this trim, but it's a little larger um, than the, um, the tray, just a little bit. So I would either have to cut off, you know, the little rope parts on here. I don't know. Um, but I don't know if you guys have a preference on which one. Again, I do have a Would You Been discount. Uh, so if you want to or are interested in using Would You Been, that's my discount code. Your auction may cover a couple of weeks. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Hi, Robin. So, I don't know. I'm thinking this one, but I always use this one. So, if you guys think I should use this one, I most certainly will. I still didn't write the number inside of that one like a uh, bad girl. And then, I don't know. Do we do a trance? Do we do this down or do we do something from the spring release because i could do that too it'd be a shame to cut it kind of right so if we use a paper from the spring release i was thinking of using can you tell it's been a little chaotic around here because i i'm prepared but not really if you guys can't tell but i think that's probably the way i am 90% of the time I'm on. If we do spring release, I wanted to use the blue peonies. 
So, I would use the trim that fits. Actually, you sound frazzled. I'm not frazzled. It's just always busy. I was doing some stuff um, right before doing some work, and I don't know. You know. You know. So, let's put this one down. So, this is, again, the trim that fits. So, blue peonies or this, which is, did I tell you guys the name of this? So, this is at my Micah Daughters, and this is Meadowview Farm. Hi, Sandy Triplet. Blue peonies. Okay. So, again, if you haven't gotten your Decoupage Queen spring release, it will be available on um, Decoupage Queen and TH Decor on Monday. If you haven't already gotten it from your free favorite retailer. I was also looking at this because... Um, I may, I don't know, I was even thinking about putting this on the front and the back. Mm, it would fit pretty well. So let's put down the paper and do some painting and then let's see how, where it takes us. So where is my tray? It is, it is sitting in in cover under cover because um the epoxy is in it i didn't get to epoxy it last night because y'all i went to bed at 8 30. that's not that is like wait what terry goes to bed at 8 30 is unheard of um but yeah i actually went to bed at 8 30 yesterday and wouldn't you know it i woke up at um, I woke up at 2.35 and I was like, ooh, that was such a good night's sleep. I feel wonderful. Let's get up. And then I looked at the clock and went, oh, it's only 2.30 in the morning. Um, <laughs> well, that's not going to work. <laughs> I guess I'm going to try to go back to sleep. Hmm. 2.30 in the morning, Terry, huh? <laughs> hey, Nicole. Welcome, you'll love Terry. Do we have somebody new? I miss somebody. Janet? Hi, Janet. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Thank you for joining me. Where are you from, Janet? I always love to know where you guys are from. I am in northern rainy California. It is raining like crazy today. So I just switched to my Posh Chalk brush. Um, my discount code works on the brushes. It works on everything on that website. So absolutely take advantage of it. If you're ordering anything, any posh chalk or any wood you've been, take advantage of the discount code. But it's so helpful in getting like the corners and the creases and whatnot. Oh, how am I missing everybody? Where are you guys seeing all these names? I don't even see what. Hello, I'm sorry I'm missing you. I don't see. I just see you guys saying hello, but I don't see them. So I'm so sorry if if I'm not saying hello to you. Please, please keep saying hi because I don't know if it's being filtered or what's happening. Hi, Renee. Oh, you were on um, Crafty Creations, maybe. Let me look. So if you are not seeing comments, 
Yeah, so we have just a couple people over on Crafty Creations. If you are wanting to get in on the comments with everybody, um, we have most everybody on um, Terry Lightsey. So, hi, Marianne. Super windy here. I'm off to the movies, then babysit my grandson later. Oh, okay, Robin, have a great evening with your grandson. South Carolina. Oh, it's raining there also. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, hi, Tina. <laughs> Troy, Troy. <laughs> oh, Troy, Troy. Here you go, son. Oh, you guys. Funny, funny story for you. Okay, so you guys know how I got caught yesterday, right? When I took Trevor... And I told you Troy Troy was awake and I got caught. And um, I was talking to you guys about his body clock. Guess who was awake at 6.15 today? Which would be usually the time that I would get up, you know, once my body aches and pains start working out. Um, that would be the time that I would get up uh, to get ready to, you know, to take Trevor, but yeah, guess who was awake at 6.15 today? And of course, as soon as, you know, I seen him, he wanted to get dressed. He wanted his shoes on. He opened the refrigerator to see if the lunch pails were in there because I told you guys that's his, you know, that's his way of for sure knowing that, you know, we're going because if the lunch pails are in there, obviously we're taking Trevor to work or school. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes, yes. He was awake and I just started laughing because I was like, that's exactly what I thought he was going to do. Usually it would take him a day or so to, or a couple of times to, fit, you know, for him to figure out what time I'm getting up, but nope, uh-uh, he was up at 6.15, and he was, he was, he was ready, he was ready for me to try to sneak out, I know, he's something, I tell you guys, all right, so, I always tell you guys, when you're working with the raw wood, your the raw wood, the fibers in the wood are going to stick up, um, which they are doing. So we will get a, we're going to bring in the gator with, you know, a 400 on there and we'll knock, we'll knock the, um, the wood fibers down. The wood is really soaking up the paint. I don't want to paint the handles. Unfortunately, the handles are uh, worked into the wood, so I'm not going to be able to unscrew these and change them out. Um, so, you know, we'll figure that out. But I just want to get the sides and everything painted so I can sand down those fibers and then I'll worry about the, tr the top and everything afterwards. But because if we put the wood you bin on the outside, we're going to need to paint anyways. So, all right. Okay. So let's dry this a little bit and then we'll get the gator and sand it down. This one is the posh chalk. Whoops. It's the posh chalk. So, hi, Cherokee. How are you? I haven't seen you in a minute. All right, he does have major FOMO. Hi, Jackie Bates. Major, major FOMO. Hi, Joy. Thank you, Leona. You're welcome. So, my discount code will work on the brushes. My discount code works on everything on the on the Would You Been West website. I know somebody had asked if it works um, on the other ones. I don't know. I've always said just try it. Like if you're ordering from 
would you have been what um Canada or you know somewhere else? I'm I'm not sure if it would or not. Oh my goodness, how fun. Hi Miss Linda. Hi Betty. Thank you. All right. So I can feel to touch that the wood grains are sticking up, not as bad. So I'm just going to take a 400 on the gator and we will sand down. We are doing a tray, a wooden tray, kind of like, I always think of these as like the Ottoman sitters. You know, I, I don't know. When I see these trays, I think of like, the magazines when they have, you know, the beautiful blanket on the Ottomans and then they have a tea set or something set out in the tray. But you can really use it for whatever. Okay, so again, you don't want to use a harsh, you know, a low grit on this. We want to use a high grit sander because you're only knocking down the wood fibers that have been picked up from the paint, the painting. Okay. And then I didn't do like a great paint job on the sides because I already know I'm going to have to paint it again. Not really worried about it. Um, I really just wanted to paint down here light uh, because uh, you want to always have uh, a uh, a light base when you decoupage so that the true colors on your rice paper will stand out. There you go, baby. All right. Uh, I did. It's on, son. Those of you who are new, that little guy is my Troy Troy. And there you go, baby. Mm. There you go. Whoa, are you trying to stream? No, no, no starting videos. <laughs> Jeez. He wants to have his own live, y'all. Parker is going to stream on YouTube. I know. Silly goose. Yeah. I don't know how you managed to figure that yeah. stuff out. Yeah. I don't know, but don't do that, Pop. Don't stream on YouTube, Bubba's. Thank you, Tina. Yep, Troy is our mascot. <laughs> Team mascot. Okay, let me get these couple of names that I've seen. Troy Troy said, I want to be famous too. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so we got Tina. Ugh. I always tell you, if I spell your name, um, it's in my Amazon store. If I spell your name incorrectly, I'm so sorry. Does the different grits of the sandpaper? Yes, it does, Mercedes. And it's in my Amazon store too. Um, so are just the refills. Um, so, you know, you don't always have to buy a new gator. That sounds fun, Cherokee. Did you take a before and after picture? So, we, you know, to show, like, all the awesome stuff that you did. All right, so I think I've got everybody's. Okay, I'm just going to put this down for just a minute so I can take off the edges. I'm surprised that I don't, there it is. One of these days I'm going to lose that little thing. All right, so I'm just going to use a water pin and my ruler that has the cork behind it because I just find that, that the cork holds down the paper for me when I'm tearing. Juicy! Hi, Juicy. I didn't see you. I don't know why I'm not seeing people come in. Uh, 
Uh, All right, I think I got everybody. Hi, Mel, how are you? I'm so sorry if I'm missing people. And I, I didn't even get Mary Casey. I know I said hi to Mary, though, and Lucia. Good coogly moogly. All right, let's take off. So you can use a water pen if you like. You can, um, you know, you use your paintbrush, stick it on water. That works, too. If you want to just dry rip it, you could do that, too. I just don't suggest that you cut it with a pair of scissors if you're trying to blend it. If you, you know, you're not. If you have something that you, you're not worrying about having to blend the paper in um, with, you know, paint or another piece, then, you know, cutting it is fine. But with rice paper, your frayed edges are always better for blending. Well, Troy, that's enough. That's enough. Too full. Don't fill it up. Thank you. Troy is, um, um, I'm not frozen on my phone, Miss Linda. You might have to go out and come back in. Mm. So this one is the A3. Mm. So it's the one size larger than the standard size. Okay, let's not change all of our cups, though, so many times today. Okay, pups, so you don't spill. spill. Oops. I don't know. Did anybody, did I freeze for anybody else? I didn't even know how I got to that paint like that, but whatever. So again, this paper is part of the spring release called Blue Peonies. It is going to be a favorite, I'm sure, because it reminds me so much of Sugar Magnolia, and you guys know I love that paper. You're not frozen. Okay. You're having issues, but it's windy trees. Yeah. Yesterday, it was pretty windy for the most part of the day here. And then, like I said, now today, it's just, it looks like the, the sky's clearing right up now, but it was, it was coming down pretty good for a couple hours. Why are you getting a wash rag? Did you spill, Troy Troy? <laughs> Goodness gracious. All right. So I'm going to use my decoupage varnish and glue. And I'm going to tell you guys, so I always use the, um, I always use the, you know, the epoxy that I use is always like the food safe. But because that um, tray is obviously not going to be a food tray, I put the super glass resin in there from Pintart. Oh, my gosh. You guys wait until that resin sets up, till the epoxy sets up, and I show you. It's going, it's, that resin is true to its name. It, you know, glass, super glass. So it's going to be amazing on that tray that we did yesterday. Um, it was windy, cold, and rainy here in my part. Texas. Oh, you got a downpour. Hi, Mary Lynn. That print is gorgeous. I can see it as a bedspread, upholstery, fabric, wallpaper. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. All right. 
So, I obviously want, we have the, the big flowers here, so. I wish I could take these handles off because I would definitely change them, but that's okay. Nope. I want it to go up a little bit. Sorry, I'm just trying to get both of these on there as, as, and not cut them off at all. So I'm trying to see how much play I have up here. All right, I think that's going to be about it. All right, so I'm just going to come in and just make some score marks with my nail. You can use a score tool. Hi, Veronica. Good to see you. This is one, this one's my favorite in the post. Hmm? Yes, Drucy, I'm talking about that tray. <laughs> Drucy's staking claim on the tray, as well as Sharon, as well as others and yeah i'm not sure if i if there was a way for me to mass produce a tray i would because good cuggly muggly all right so i'm going to just turn it upside down and i'm going to use the marks like i was saying yesterday i think it was i don't want to wet the line the score line so i'm going to put my ruler on top of the line and then i'm going to water cut it off the reason why i don't wet the score line is because i don't want to pull off too much so if i don't wet that score line then I can't, you know, pull it, pull off too much, so. Thank you, Mary Lynn. No, Sharon understands it's mine. Does she? <laughs> Does she understand, Juicy? She's here. <laughs> it's late for her, but you might have just woken her up. <laughs> Oh, my goodness. Let me, before I get, before I forget, let me put Mary on there. Yep, before I lose her comment, Mary Lynn Berry. Okay. Every time you say that, Harry, I think of Harry Potter, and I don't know why. What did I say? Harry Potter, what did I say? Harry Potter. I'm not sure what I said now that's making you think of Harry Potter. Hi, Onyx. What you doing here? Is Troy Troy messing with you? Okay, Troy. I will when Mama's done. When Mama's done, I will, okay? All right. Don't get scared. I just need to get the tray. Okay, let's put this in there. And anything that comes up, that I need to adjust. I will um, cut that with my Fiskars finger blade. <laughs> oh my gosh. I knew Sharon was 
<laughs> I was gonna say, it's late for Sharon, but that probably woke her up, Drusy. Okay. All right, so we're good. I'm just gonna need to make sure I don't go in crooked. So I'm gonna get my, if I can get it out, I'm gonna get my felt squeegee. I'm gonna get my decoupage glue and varnish from Pintart. I use the matte. I'm bringing popcorn to watch the next auction. It's gonna be interesting. Thanks, Helena. <laughs> Yes, Vera. Hi, Vera. This one does. This one actually comes in all sizes. So from A0 to A4. A0 being our biggest size. Boy, son. Oh, lordy, 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 son. So when I put my... Uh, rice paper down. I only do it in sections just in case I've got to reposition. It's easier for me instead of trying to put glue on the whole surface and then lifting the whole paper up. So I'm going to make sure that I'm all the way up in the corners. Okay, and then, no, <laughs> and then I'm going to use my squeegee to push down that paper, push the product so that everything goes down and there's no wrinkles. Just remembered I'm in background of that. Just remember you're in the background. Oh, Lord. <laughs> and I'm Nicole's proxy bidder. Oh. All right. You is funny, girl. My granddaughter just saw me watching you and said, you are a professional streamer. Oh, my gosh. How cute, Lisa. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Actually... I wouldn't do this, but I told Nicole, I said, they're going to have me so anxious with an anxiety over this tray when that stop comes in to see who actually wins that I was going to, um, I was going to play a joke on you guys and say, okay, the starting bid is a thousand dollars. That'll get them all to stop. Nicole was like, you're crazy. <laughs> I said, well, and they'll know how I feel. And then we could then, after they start mm. behaving, then we'll start the real bidding. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Sharon, <laughs> see, and then you guys would be like jokes on you and start messing with me. <laughs> That's why I was like, yeah, that probably won't work because it'll just be messing around. <laughs> okay. Okay. Now, um, I know some people like to do, um, you know, the iron method and put this down with heat. 
Um, because it's a flatter surface, you are more than, you know, able to do it that way too, if that is your preference. Um, I always say that, you know, if you ever find an air bubble, that's why you really, really want to make sure you're putting a good enough a product, good enough amount of product down just in case you did find like an air bubble later you could use your iron and put heat to it to reactivate that glue and get rid of that air bubble um you and nicole's treasures keep it fun on your lives i love that yeah we try to have fun hey trish you know just i love you know in my room when we can joke with each other and you know, mm, 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 have fun. Mm. I know, Bubba's. I know. Okay, so I am going to just get the rest off of my brush so it doesn't dry out. There is a little bit here that's come up on the sides. So I'm going to dry it, um, dry it first. Then I'm going to take my finger blade and get off this excess paper and then i'll put on my protective layer on top no no now hold up on that angle what oh did you janet oh awesome well thanks so much for coming on and joining me i appreciate that hi sharon smith sharon smith um i draw the line at a thousand <laughs> you guys are silly if I had a thousand, no, I absolutely wouldn't. It would have been just a joke, just a, you know. So you guys would be like, huh, what did she say? <laughs> um, hi, Tina. Sharon, I tried to message you yesterday, but I don't know if maybe, I don't know why I couldn't find you on Messenger, but I did put, um, all the silicone brushes, I did look and make sure that they're in my Amazon store and I put them up to the top, well, closer up to the top so that you can find them, but they are there. They're, the blue ones are there and the, um, the white tips are there. So I think that they were just maybe buried a little far down there. You guys, it's PT time. They were buried a little far down there, so you probably couldn't see them, or they might have even been on the other, because I have two menus that I think the other menu, um, you guys don't realize the other menu there, it's like the crafting tools and organization menu. Okay, great, Sharon. Okay, so you never, ever, 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 ever want to cut your rice paper when it's wet because it will rip. So I'm just going to use my Fiskars finger blade. I changed this blade the other day. You want a very sharp blade. When you're going in here, you're literally not putting any pressure. You're just cutting the fibers of the paper. So light pressure just to get through the fibers. And if you need to cut it again, you can, but if you can see, you guys see that? It, it comes away. Um, but you need to make sure, number one, that it's very, very dry and that you, you know, you have a sharp blade, but I'm not cutting the wood at all. I'm just cutting the fibers of the paper so that I can, you know, clean up that edge and it's not creeping up to the, the side, the top wall there. Okay, I'm just going to scrape these little fibers away. If you are new to me um, and you're wondering why I am a little smaller than most creators as far as the picture goes, it's because I do film in landscape. Um, so if you want to, um, you can absolutely turn your camera. 
All right, that corner is not down, so I'm not going to even risk cutting it. So you can turn your camera landscape if you want um, to see a bigger picture, but that's why. So that corner wasn't down, so I'm not going to even risk cutting because it would have pulled. And I realize I picked up my other blade, but all the same, they're both sharp. And this is just kind of nitpicky over here, getting rid of some of the fibers that are climbing up the side. Thank you, Di. Hi, Diana. All right. Again, I'm just cleaning up the fibers. And then I tell you guys, always make sure when you're doing this that your corners are down. So once we take all of this off, um, I'll go through and make sure that the, the corners are down because that tends to happen. Mm -hmm. Okay, hold on a minute. Hold on a minute, y'all. All right. I had to scream for Trevor and didn't feel like blowing your all eardrums off with my squeaky voice. All right. Okay, so now I'm going to get my blade in here because I'm almost going to be positive. Yep, so this corner is not down. I don't know if you guys, well, my hand is in the way, but can you see that corner's not down? So I'm going to... Push that, and then let's get over here. That one's not too bad. Ha, ha, Vera, no, I actually get all of my jewelry from my friend Monica at Team BFF2. She sells paparazzi jewelry. So everything that I have on is from her. I buy it from her. And um, so if you're familiar with paparazzi jewelry, all of the jewelry is $5. And so she does lives as well. Every you Typically, it's every Monday at um, 7 o'clock Eastern. So if you're interested, she also has a website. If you don't, you know, if you're not able to catch her live, she also has a website. And all of the jewelry is $5. Okay, so we're just going to come through now that we've got everything cleaned up. We're going to come through and pick, put on our top layer, which is your protective coating, just in case. When you're doing something later, you get some paint or something on there, some glue, something that you don't want. This will give you that little bit of time to get it cleaned off without ruining your image. I know at this point I probably sound like a broken record to a lot of you, but you know, I used to, when I first started ducky podging a few years ago, I used to forget to do this step a lot. And sure enough, you know, when you're painting or whatnot, it gets on there and then trying to take it off is a nightmare because you, you know, you mess up your image. So. Hi, Brenda. Awesome so far. Thank you. Love this, Trace. You're welcome. Thank you, Jane. Is there not a product or tool that you don't have? Every time I see you use something I haven't seen, I feel like I have to have it. I'm sorry, Mercedes. <laughs> I'm so sorry. 
I do have, you know, a lot of gadgets and gadgets that I have, you know, obtained over over the years. <laughs> All right, so let's dry this and then let's get our so look at how beautiful that's going to be with this. And I'm thinking we can probably get away with using the night sky. If we're going to paint this a color, we'll paint it the night sky, or we can paint it um, a neutral, like the browns. So you guys tell me. So night sky is the one that's a perfect match for sugar magnolia. And I'm thinking it's probably going to be a good match for this one as well. Does your products come on those neat? In these? In these, Janet? No. So these are Sugar Bell bottles. Um, they're in my Amazon store. So I have transferred my a lot of the products into these bottles because <clears throat> i'm trying to get better at contaminating my project my bottles by putting my brushes in them but they come in um it comes in bottles like this so well in bottles like this and like this depending on the size you know this depending on the size that you buy but yeah, so I have transferred a lot of my products in the Sugar Bell bottles, um, which I have loved. Okay, so really quickly, there's still some fibers that have climbed up here on the walls that I want to get rid of. So you guys know the way that I do that is, again, I'm going to take a very fine grit, so I'm going to actually change that. I'm going to grab a 600. When I do this, I almost always will change it to a new um, paper, but I'm going to come in. Hopefully, you guys can see, and I'm going to just get rid of not so much the fibers, but I'm going to get rid of the feeling of it. So I'm just going to take a 600. And come right in here and sand those fibers down so that they're smooth to touch. That way when we paint, let me get that off before I pull the paper. That way when we paint, we don't see, we don't see these fibers underneath that paint. Okay, so 600. And I tell you guys all the time, when you're using a fine grit like this, it's not going to take your paint off. Okay, so I don't want to pull. That is something that I tried to cut earlier, but I couldn't get off because it was stuck with the glue. So I'm just going to use my blade and cut it. So... Now, if I'm coming over here and just running my finger across, I don't feel it. Up here, I'm going to sand left to right because that's just the glue that I'm getting off. But when I'm trying to take the fibers, I'm only coming in a downward motion. Hi, Joellen. Okay, got it. So we will definitely put down the night sky. And again, I'm, I don't want to fill any of the glue. So when you see me going left to right, that's just me getting off any glue that was, you know, on there. So anytime I am like blending papers together, so if maybe my paper was a little smaller and I needed to do two rice papers, I will always sand it first. 
So up here I can still glue. So you know what? I was getting a little willy nilly probably. And that just helps have a smoother, right? When you're you're doing it, it just gives it a smoother, more professional, if you will, look. Although we're not trying to do that, you know, because it is it is handcrafted, so. Hi, Juanita. How are you? Okay. Let's just get this little corner here so I can see some glue up here. And still fill it up there. All right. Good. It's good. Okay. All right. Let's put these away. Where do you buy your little squeegee tube to use to use ex to get extra resin out with? Where do you buy your little squeegee tube you use to get extra resin out with? Oh, the pipettes. The pipettes are on in my Amazon store. The pipettes. Alrighty, so before we um, get and start painting that, let's do these really quickly. So would you been, it has the properties of wood. Again, this is TR725. And you always want to heat up your would you been. Otherwise, it is fragile. It is brittle. It will snap. You don't want to try to, you know, unfold it, uncoil it when it's it's cool. And then you always want to use a good wood glue to put it down with. You don't want to use hot glue. So I use tight bond quick and thick, but you can use Gorilla Glue. Um, Whatever wood glue you prefer, just not hot glue. Okay. I'm doing good, Juanita. Nice to see you. All right. This is absolutely one of my favorite trims, and for a while there, was using it a lot. Okay, so I am going to, it fits on there perfectly, and actually, You know what? Hold on a minute. Oh, you guys know I love fighting with the wood you bin when I'm <laughs> one-handed. I'm going to coil this back up. I'm going to use this, and I'm going to go all the way around the tray just seamlessly. Which means you guys are going to see me struggling because I always, always need an extra hand when I do that. And well, the trim is TR725. 
725. TR725. My discount code for Would You Bin is TERI10 with the percentage sign. Make sure you absolutely make sure to use that discount code because. You always do excellent work, hence part one, two, teaching. <laughs> Aw, thanks, Pamela. All right. Let's get what we need out, and then we'll go around this. Instead of doing like a continuation on the um, on the sides or in the middle or something, since I have enough of it, we'll just go all the way around. Yep, I have my clips right here. <laughs> Get my clips. <laughs> oh. I know. I'm sure you guys are getting popcorn and Oreos and everything out, getting ready to see this hot mess happen. All right. This trim is actually fairly thin. Um, so it, you know, it doesn't take long to heat it. So, which is nice. Some of the thicker pieces take a little longer. All right, so I just want to get kind of a feel for how much I, I need. And then don't ever cut your wood jib in when it is cold. You want to make sure it's heat. You heat it up before you cut it. Okay. So I'm sure I have more than enough, but as always, I always cut more than I need. Because that's the last thing I need is for it to be cut short. And then your wood you've been is going to expand a bit as well when you heat it. All right. So let's do. Where do I want to have the seam at? Um, I'll just do it on one of the sides here. Okay. Now let's look. Do we care? Okay, these go back up and back the same way, so that's fine. All right, I'm going to start on the side and then go around. That Would You Bend is such a neat, it is really a really neat product. Is it, Lisa? Doggone it. I'm sure if you do the notification, though, I'm sure it will um, be back in stock because it is a favorite for sure. Hi, Bernice. Okay, so because I've got to fight with this tray and only two hands, I'm going to get my tight bond out and I'm going to actually put it on the tray. Actually, I probably shouldn't have put it all the way over there because I'm not going to start it on a corner. Or maybe I will. I don't know. No, because I want it to be rounded on all corners. Okay. I'm talking to myself. Don't mind me. I do want to make sure there's a lot of glue on the corners, though. And I will. I know you guys, it's really close. Let me lift it. Yeah, it'll come back in stock because it is an absolute favorite. And okay. So I want to make sure I have a lot of glue on the um, 
the corners. And then I'm actually going to take this and I don't know. I'm going to start it here in the middle just because I don't, I want it to round on the corners. So we'll do it here in the middle, round over. So let's put glue here too. And I don't know why I grabbed a brush. I think I'm going crazy. And I didn't even put my glue. Sending hands. <laughs> yes, please. I need a lot of hands right now. Okay, I'm gonna use my silicone brush because it's a lot easier. Oh, look at that. Holy guacamole. It's a lot easier to move the glue. Now the type on quick and thick, it does dry clear, but as always, we'll make sure to get any excess off so that way you don't see a clear lump of glue because that just doesn't look good either. I am going to put in probably more than needed on the corners, like I said, because I need that to stick. All right, just make sure. This is everywhere. And then we'll turn it so that we go that way. Okay. All right. All right. Oh. Wait, which way am I going? This way. <laughs> Telling you, being left handed sometimes. I just don't want it to snap. I know you guys, I have to hold it to the side so it doesn't snap on me. Hi, Judy Stalker. The name of the paper is called Blue Peonies. I know, right? My, my hands and everything are all up in your face right now. So it's Decoupage Queen Blue Peonies. Um, you're not going to find it on my links until Monday because... The retailers always get exclusives for the first week. So you won't find it on um, using any of my links until Monday. But if you want the paper now, you can go to one of our retailers. Um, okay. Let's do this. Put this down here. I'm going to grab a clip. Ooh. Oh, watch me get flagged for singing because I made that little, little noise. All right. And then I'm going to push. Mm, mm, mm. Hold on, Bubba's. Mm. Okay, I'm going to actually heat right here because I can see down at the bottom that it's not flush, and I want to, and I want it to be because, like I said, it's going to stretch. So I want to get it nice and tight now, and just by me pulling it that little bit. Got rid of that little pocket that's over there. Okay. Good. And then let me put glue here. That was me, Onyx. That was me. It's me. Oh, my goodness. Onyx, that was me. Maybe because this one's like a rectangle shape and not round like the cake plate, it's not going, I'm not going to get tangled up in it. <laughs> I swear, I fought with that trim on that cake plate for a good 40 minutes. All right. 
Again, I want to make sure it's really heated here on this corner because I want it to round without snapping. I'm not going to even turn it yet. Okay, let me get the corner first. Whoops. What did we say? Another hand, please. As I'm going to look up and see a bunch of hand emojis, just watch. All right. Let's just put that over there for right now. And I know there's glue down on that side there. I'm being careful not to just set it down. Okay. And I'm gonna get another clip and clip this side here. Onyx, what on earth? Onyx, sound like you're, Onyx. Yeah, the, the cake plate, I really felt like I was about to strangle myself with all of that. All right, now let's clip this and then put glue up here. Onyx, what's the matter? Do your dogs ever just like look up in the corner and start barking and you're, <laughs> you're like, okay. What are you barking at? What do you see? I don't like when her and Jack just like look up in the corner and start barking. Nah. You know, I always say that juju. Yeah. Like who's, who's here that you're barking at? Who are you looking at? Only because I said what? That I was getting strangled by that, um, that would you been trim? I know. I know you guys were probably like, oh, goodness, this is a hot mess. What is she doing? <laughs> I know. I know, I know. I'm sure everybody was thinking that I would never get out of that mess. Look, for a minute there, I thought I was never gonna get out of that mess. Okay, I'm just going to, again, make sure it's on that corner. And then let's heat this up and set it down. I know, that's, cause you know, that's what they say, right? Cause your animals are very intuitive to things and no, ma'am. No, no. I'm all good with the, the visitors. Uh, yeah, the 80, the 220 is probably all that you'd want to use. I don't usually go lower than that. Actually, I hardly ever use a 220. And I never use an 80 or 110 unless I am actually trying to sand something. Like I'm literally trying to sand wood off. Um, but. Mm, that's that's those are too low in my opinion for if you're using rice paper okay so i'm gonna go ahead and get this down just so it doesn't um snap but i need to pull it tight over there because i can see So I'm going to lay this flat so it doesn't snap on me. But now I'm going to pick it up here 
Can you guys see this right here? I don't like that. So I'm going to take this clip off. I'm going to heat it again. It's gorgeous. It is an absolute gorgeous trim. Okay, and then come over and heat the rest of this. Now, I'm going to come down. I'm going to move that trim down just a little bit, and then I'm going to stretch it this way to get rid of that. You see, now it's flat. Okay. All right, so let me fix the camera so you guys aren't way up in the air anymore. Sorry, guys, trying to adjust it. All right. So now we're going to go and start fine tuning the trim. So wherever I might be a little too high or I'm not connected, like you guys can't see it because my name, but right here at this corner, it needs to be heated and pushed. Then when I know I have the, you know, all of that down, then I'll come over here and we'll cut this. If ever your would you been also like in this instance, if it was a little too high or a little too low from, you know, the, the rest of it. If you heat it back up, it will move. So you do have time before it sets all the way to mess with it. Okay. Now, I've only got over here to mess with, but this original corner, let me put this down since it decided to fall. This original corner needs to be reheated. And then let's squeeze this way to make that tight. Okay. And then last is this one. And that's where we started off with the glue. So I'm just going to... Heat this up and put some more glue back here. Oh, I'm good with angels and, you know, my mom visiting and my grandpa, and my grandma. But I always know when they're visiting. It's when, um, you know, it's like, you know, just the mysterious, like, crazy barking and she's looking at something she she used to do that when she was a puppy and we would be in the garage and i would say yep nope time to go inside nope nope no no juju in here nope <laughs> i'm good one piece wide trim on a larger scale project blousers <laughs> It just depends on how big of a size that you're doing, Renee. You guys see, I put like little, um, you know, center pieces down or whatever, and that, those go down just fine. But you know, there's always there's always that that time where I like to make things difficult. All right, so I am going to take this one and hold it so that it doesn't move while I put it right on top of the other one, just like if we were to miter it on the corners. So I'm over right here is where the under is, where the under is. 
and I'm going to take my blade and I'm just going to, I'm not trying to cut my tray, I'm just cutting my wood you bin. Okay, so I'm going in and I'm just kind of pressing it. And I'm going to take that off and I'm going to lift a little bit. And I'm going to get that underside off. So then they will marry up completely. Okay, there you go. And easy peasy lemon squeezy. Now let's, this one shifted down. You can see the wood up there a little bit. So I'm going to heat this up and move this trim back up. Okay, so let's move that back where it needs to be, and we're good. And then let's make sure we're good there. Once I was driving when my kids were little, I was mm -hmm. on a two-lane road at a stop sign. The light turned green, but I saw a white. The car beside me moved, and the car came. Whoa, we, wow, we. Wow, we, wow, we, <laughs> wow, we. All right, so now that we've got that all down, I will run my heat. Oh, I see something there that I don't like. I know it's underneath, but you guys know I'm a little, I'm a little weird about things sometimes. So I'm just going to heat it and squeeze that down. See? So now it's gone. There's just a little bit over here in this corner. That's why I really wanted to make sure there was a lot of glue. that Just in case I the corners didn't adhere really well this way when I'm heating it back, I know that I can pinch. And it's going to reactivate that glue, and it's going to stick. Okay. I know it's underneath. I know you wouldn't see it, but I do paint my projects top, bottom, everything. So I just want it to be as good as it can be. All right. So there we go. Is it pity? It's pity. It's so pitiful. It's so pitiful. All right. These little bitty things weren't going to get it today. Got to get, we had to get the big mama jammas. All right. So now let's get this stuff out of the way into the water. Haven't been on here for five hours yet. Close to. Yeah, close. Close enough. All right. Let's get our night sky. So this is night sky Waverly chalk paint. Chalk paint. I do notice, especially with the um, 16 fluid ounce, you do need to make sure that you get these stirred and mixed really well. So where is my... So I'm going to come in... After I shake it a bit, I'm just going to get my silicone stir stick. It's pitiful. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It's pitiful. All right. So I'm going to get my silicone stir stick, and I'm going to go down here to the bottom and actually move it around. Because I do notice that if I don't do, don't do this, it's not as opaque as it usually is. Look at that. See that color? Gorgeous. Okay. That's actually why I pulled out the plate. Alrighty. Alrighty, I tell you. 
Uh, I need kind of a, I need kind of a, well, we'll just start up here first. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. So let's start up here and do this beautiful trim. And then more than likely, I will paint the inside off camera so that you guys aren't, you know, getting bored to death watching paint. Ah. That's what I'm saying, Chorch. Ah. It could be boring, you know? Am I even in camera anymore? Is that I messed with the camera so much? I'm mainly just painting up here so you guys can see that color and how it matches. And of course, we will always put in different colors for, you know, our dimension and highlight. And what I'll probably do, I am going to put bonding primer on these handles since I can't change the handles. I'm going to put bonding primer on these handles when I'm done, and then we will paint the handles whatever color we bring into this, whether it's the <laughs> golds or silvers or uh, probably not silver, uh, white gold, something or another. Uh, Why are you leaving uh, me, Troy? Uh, Why are you uh, leaving me? Uh, you always trying to leave me. It is, right? Hi, Gil. Gil, it's um it's a would you been trim? It's trim it's TR seven twenty five. But the um, a couple of the gals went and looked, and it's out of stock for right now. But it will definitely be back. So you can, I believe they have a notify me on there when it's back. Because now that I've used um, it on my trim, I need more, or on my tray i need more too so again as usual i always paint the bottom so the bottom of this will be painted the night sky color but we'll definitely be pairing this with something i'll probably grab the white gold the posh chalk white gold and put the white gold through this. Yes, Dana, Waverly Night Sky. Where's the lid? No, oh. <laughs> it's Night Sky though. I can see the bottle. This one perfectly matches um, Sugar Magnolia and now the Blue Peonies. Had a couple of people message me and ask me when I first did Sugar Magnolia what color it was. I said, yep. It's a winner, winner, chicken dinner. You guys see? Look at that. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Yes, I do, Janet. So actually my next auction is going to be um on the 17th, Sunday the 17th at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And then that week, I will do a reel of all the stuff that's in there. 
son, you have to have patience. I don't know why the backpack keeps doing that to you, Bubba's. It keeps grabbing the, the material and he can't get it open or shut. There you go, babe. There you go. Oh my gosh, it's heavy. What do you have in there? Yeah, it's going to be on St. Patty's Day. Um, but, you know, as usual, I will always have fun and antics on my auctions. And, you know, there's always bound to be some kind of silliness that goes on. I can't just have a regular auction, you know. I've always got to have some kind of crazy giveaway with silly videos and everything else. I think somebody even mentioned one time that my auctions were not very, um, I don't know, as if like I didn't have, how was it said? I can't remember. It wasn't organized, I believe. Somebody said, made a comment about it not being organized. Sorry. That's why it's called chaos. It's organized chaos to me. <laughs> you deal with me. It's bound to be chaotic. How pretty would that be to have these that white gold, the handles? Hi, Vicky. How are you? I shared and liked and loved and, and, <laughs> okay. Yeah, so um, once I get to this other side, I will do the wheel and pick our Happy Mail winner. And then tomorrow I have Robin songs on Creative Hour as long as Lauren doesn't have her baby. <laughs> Um, Robin will be on, so I won't be, I don't do lives on Saturdays, but I'll be back on Sunday and then we'll finish the tray on Sunday. I saw that comment. I thought it was fun until someone stole my book stand. <clears throat> juicy you know what i have another book stand that i got juicy that i'm going to do just for you <laughs> oh Yeah, I love when people, you know, try to throw that negative stuff in. It's like, y'all know. Negativity is just not nice. It takes more energy to be negative and mean than it does to be nice and to laugh. And karma, you ever met her? She's not nice. So just be nice. And if you don't like me, just move on. Yes, she does. We talk about this book stand often, Drucy. Nicole. <laughs> Was like, Terry, I, I I find those a lot. Do you need me to get you one? Yes, please. Please. Because Juicy needs her stand. <laughs> Juicy needs her stand. Absolutely. Please. Please. So I have a stand for you, Juicy, that I'm going to do for you. I know, Carrie. 
Yes, Mary Casey, I'm just saying. It does not... Hey, Miss Luca. It does not cost anything to be nice. It really doesn't. But, you know, I don't know if people just wake up eating sour grapes or what, because they're sour. They're sour. What time is it? So, in 15 minutes... Nicole, do you live close enough? No, I don't. Unfortunately, 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 I don't live close to Nicole. I'm in California. But fortunately, because we would probably be... Now, talk about not being nice. If I lived around her, we would be boxing each other for, you know, craft supplies at the secondhand store. Mm. So, I'm just kidding. Not really. <laughs> mm. Mm. You see? Mm. Nicole, are you going live tonight? You usually take mm. today off. Are you going live tonight? Mm. I'm not sure what you're pointing at, my love. What do you... Bubba boy, I'm not sure what you're pointing at. You already gave my pencil to Onyx yesterday and she ate it. No, you're not? Oh, Sugar Bell. Okay. Well, then y'all, just give me a minute. I usually try to not take any longer than you know i don't like to be on when or take up you know time when nicole's going to be on because i usually am over there watching her but i just you know i try to give courtesy when i can sometimes we can't help it but although it's not our time slots we don't own a time slot by any means but, you know, I just try to give courtesy. So if she was going to be on at 6 Eastern, which would have been in a few minutes, I would have hurried up and jumped off of here. But since she's not, give me a minute. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Since she's not, I will finish painting this one side. And then, like I said, when I jump off of here, I will paint the inside. And then, whoa, and then um, when we come back on Sunday, we will grab the white gold and the probably the brown Van Dyke to give our dimension. I know. Tomorrow at 6.30. Oh, that's right. Tomorrow, ha um, tomorrow has. Tomorrow, um, Nicole is in an event tomorrow at 6.30. So, be sure to go over there and watch her. You know what would be really pretty is to put like flat backs in all of these little areas. Because they're just like sitting here hanging out. Like there needs to be something in there. I'm kind of being crazy painting the handles because I am going to put bonding primer on there. And then... We're going to match those handles to whatever highlight, which I'm pretty sure we're going to do the white gold. Do you like to craft when you are by yourself? Yes, Lisa. Um, well, not necessarily by myself, but <laughs> yes. I just find it, I craft a lot, you know, when Troy Troy allows me to. 
um, and I'm not in the car driving. <laughs> but there's a lot of things that I can do um, off of a live that take a little bit more time, and it's not always easy to, you know, have some things in camera in frame. So those are usually the things that I do um, on my time. <clears throat> Um, and then like if I'm playing with something, a product or sneak peeks or something like that, you know, but, uh, uh, right now what I'm working on is the next sample for the next class I'm going to be doing. So I'm almost done with that. So that way. I can show you guys, and then if anybody's interested in taking a Zoom class, we'll do that. Oh my gosh, y'all, look at this. Just a little bit of trim, some paint. So, I used to love to craft with, I know. And that's why the meet and mingles are so fun that I do once a month. Um, because sometimes even when you're not talking, right, and just having someone in the room um, is just enjoyable, just to craft. And even if you're not talking all the time, it's just fun to have someone there. Like if you have an idea, you can bounce off your idea off of someone, you know, right then and there. And just to kind of keep you company. But I don't have anybody around here locally that I know that crafts so that's why you know I love doing like the meet and mingles or you know sometimes I'll talk be talking to Nicole and I'll be crafting and I'm talking to you know some of my other um online friends and crafting and because it's just nice sometimes to have someone there I know it's gorgeous. So it just went from a simple, easy wooden tray ooh, to this beautifulness. And like I said, I will sit here and do all of this because I'm going to come in with a, um, a small detail brush and, you know, get close to the paper. And then um, when we come back on Sunday, um, we'll finish up doing the, putting the white gold in there. So that'll be this. And then also I just looked back and this matches beautifully too. So we'll end up probably doing some layers with some of the posh chalk metallics and then also put, um, the Brown Van Dyke in for some depth and dimension around the um in the molds but i'm really thinking that maybe we'll put some flat backs in these you know these little places here too uh hobby lobby julie it's a two pack this is the smaller one and there's one even larger that i showed at the beginning um they they were sitting in you know there's two they they're sold together I want to watch you so bad, but have your camera that was, I want to watch you so bad, but have your camera that was, I just can't see you. Will you consider putting it horizontal, please? I'm sorry, Elaine. I film in landscape. The only thing I can suggest is that you take me and flip it that way. If you flip that way, then I fill up your screen. If you if you're looking at me this way, that's why I'm so small. Um, but I I I don't feel in I don't film in portrait. It's it's too small of an area for me. I'm really really sorry. I know I know it's a small picture, but um, all you have to do is once you do this way, and then up here in the corner, it will tell you um, for comments, and then the comments will come right here. So, I'm sorry. All righty, y'all. Let me get Trisha's name on this wheel. 
And then, thank you. I did now, Gail. Okay, so thank you, Sandy. All right, let's get the, did I get a fondue on here? Yep, I did. All right, so let me get the wheel on screen. Okay, Elaine, again, I apologize. I just, um, I have, um, I've done lives for quite a few years and the only time I ever did a live was with this group and we didn't even show our faces. We just showed the desk and what we were doing. Cause that was, you know, that's what you guys were here or what people were there for were to see the craft. So I was always taught to be in landscape and now I there's, I can't film in portrait because the view that you have to work in is just such a small view that now that I'm used to being in landscape, I can't go back to, I can't go to the other way. So anyhow, let me get the wheel on to screen. Thank you, Carrie. Hold on. Did I get Carrie's name on here? Mm -hmm. All right. So good luck, everybody. As always, thank you so very much for doing all the things and, you know, sharing and doing all the hearts and stuff. I really appreciate it. Let me scroll up so we could see. There we go. And let's shuffle this. And good luck. <clears throat> Yeah, it's hard to see now. <laughs> Tina, Tina Roy, congratulations, Tina. Congratulations. So, Tina, if you can please send me your um, address, I will get you out some happy mail. Juanita, it's this little ticker that's running right here at the bottom. Happy mail today. Make sure you spread the chaos and like the video and make sure you're following me. So. As long as you're following me and you spread the chaos, uh, I always put your name on the wheel, and that happens throughout the week. And then, so you can have your name on the wheel multiple times, and then um, on Friday I spin the wheel. So, oh well, I've sent stuff to Tina before. I, Tina won at one of the auctions, so. Yeah, my giveaways are always open worldwide. So if you live here in California or you live, you know. South Africa, Australia, I've sent them to Australia a few times. Um, you guys support me wherever you are. So I send out happy mail wherever it needs to go. So I love you guys. I, again, tomorrow I'm on Creative Hour and Decoupage Queen at 3 o'clock Eastern Time. And I have Robin's song. So Robin from Robin's song. And then we'll be back here on Sunday to finish the tray. So I will point, paint the inside now. When we sign off here, and then we'll get in there and put all the details and everything. So, no, not, no, Marilyn. I don't know. I hope not. <laughs> no, I'm in the, I'm in the Central Valley. So, no. Anyways, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.